I love Worthington Schools. As a student, staff member, parent, grandparent, and community member in Worthington for over 50 years, I have many stories I could tell about why I love Worthington Schools. Today, I'm going to share with you a story that touches my mama's heart. It was the 2003-2004 school year. Finding Nemo was big at the box office, and Facebook had just been launched as a social networking site for Harvard students. The youngest of my four sons, Colin, was in second grade at Worthington Hills Elementary School. And I was waiting for the clapping. <laughs> He had been placed in a class with a young new teacher by the name of Jeff Bulware. There's the clapping. <laughs> it was a tricky year for Colin as we navigated his impulsivity, his focus, and the impact my own health event had on him. Jeff was unbelievably patient with Colin and put a variety of strategies in place to help him be successful. He maintained constant communication with us and was always going the extra mile to help him. I'm pretty sure Colin had frequent breaks and access to fidgets before those were even a thing. One cold late winter afternoon, Jeff stopped by Sutter Park to talk with me about Colin. He asked me if I thought Colin might be interested in being the bat boy for his Worthington Kilbourne JV baseball team. Colin was super excited when I told him about Mr. Bulware's offer and quickly followed up with the question, what's a bat boy? <laughs> so that first game rolls around and Colin shuffles out onto the field, quite unsure about what to do. Jeff calls him over and introduces him to the team, something like this. Guys, this is Colin and he's our new bat boy. We're all going to teach him what he needs to do and I know I can count on you to show him good sportsmanship, and teamwork. And they did just that. The guys on the team were amazing and showed Colin exactly what he needed to do. Colin loved being their bat boy because he felt needed and appreciated. I'm sure the endless supply of bubble gum and sunflower seeds didn't hurt. At every turn, Jeff made sure Colin was included with his own Wolves jersey, his nameplate in the dugout, and recognition at the annual team banquet. Colin loved being a part of Jeff's team so much that he continued an additional four years. The amount of compassion and patience Jeff showed Colin was incredible. He never lost his cool when the tennis ball Colin would throw against the back of the dugout would escape him and roll out onto the field during play multiple times. And being the awesome mom that I am, I failed to mention Colin's motion sickness as he boarded the bus for the first away game. Yep. You can guess what happened. It was fine, Jeff said when I picked Colin up. Fast forward 19 years, six foot three, 26 year old Colin stands in my kitchen looking at the team photos from those formative years. He reminisces about the camaraderie with the team and Mr. Bullware's super cool car that had those windows that you had to crank to open. Mm -hmm. He remembers the stopwatch game that Jeff played with him on the bus to distract him from feeling sick. And he remembers the post-game hit that was always a home run with the team cheering him on and yelling, slide, as he reached home plate. The experience that Jeff provided Colin outside of school served him well in the classroom. You see, what Jeff understood as a young, new teacher is relationships matter. Belonging matters. Being kind to kids really matters. Jeff, thank you so much for being a trusted adult and much more for my baby. Amazing teachers like Jeff Bulware are one reason why I love Worthington Schools.